More than 10,000 people take the Avenue of the Saints daily. These are fathers, mothers, sons and daughters driving to where they need to go. It's also a piece of highway that's seen its fair share of accidents, but should it be considered a dangerous piece of roadway? Uh, seven grandkids. She is the only granddaughter here. Right now. And I went home and he wasn't there. So I came back and the sheriff met me and he told me I had to pull over. And I didn't want to pull over. And he kept telling me I had to pull over. And I said, you just need to tell me that that wasn't a motorcycle. But coming eastbound is always a little different. I mean, you're always alert. Um, and when you come up to that intersection, whether that skid mark is there, non-visible or visible, we always see it in our picture in our, in our minds. That's all you can think about is that's where the end of it was. You know, the Avenue of the Saints and the interstate uh, take up a lot of our time. The avenue, um, we have a lot more serious crashes, I would say, than than the interstate does. We definitely see people traveling, you know, long distance. They've got their crews set. Um, you know, obviously they're moving faster than the speed limit at times. Um, and then we have that the other traffic that that's using it uh, for farm purposes or agricultural purposes, um, going less than 20. So the closing speeds are a lot are a lot faster. This all adds up to a dangerous situation for drivers here along the Avenue of the Saints. The numbers tell a striking story. According to the Iowa Department of Transportation, from 2004 to 2014, in Sarah Gordo County, two people died here along the avenue. In that same time span, in Floyd County, we saw nine people die. And in Chickasaw County, we saw one. No crashes were caused by deer, and three people died because of speed. Comparing that to I-35, 16 people died from 2004 to 2014. Watch the intersections, watch the stop signs. Uh, there are blind spots in cars. Right off the get and go, there were several terrible bad accidents. Actually, I'm setting up here on the hill from that intersection down there on the Highway 18 to 18 intersection. And I would just cringe to begin with if I saw flashing lights. kind of died off. I mean, the problems kind of went away. The DLT did a wonderful job improving on it, and uh, it's way better than it used to be. The traffic numbers show that it's been working incredible. The amount of traffic that uses the avenue uh, has jumped immensely since it went to four lanes. So yeah, it's definitely been a success. type of roadway can be very, very safe as long as you're paying attention and you know following the rules of the road. The speed limits are set for a certain reason. They're set at 65. That's why they're not 70 miles per hour on the avenue is because of those accurate intersections. Yeah. This one and this one are my favorite. I mean, there's not a day that I don't go by and think about him and things that we have done and things that we were going to do. One way
the Iowa DOT has tried to make the avenue of the Saints safer is by adding in rumble strips like this or paved shoulders. That way, if you decide to fall asleep at the wheel, you'll hopefully wake up.